All right. So uh, today what we're flying is a DJI Zenmuse XT 640 resolution, 30 hertz frame rate with a 13 millimeter lens configuration and the radiometric option. Um, uh, the radiometric option gives you the ability to uh, do uh, measurements uh, all throughout the, uh, the actual image. Uh, every single pixel will actually uh, be able to capture temperature data. It also allows you to do a uh, high temperature alert, which is a, a pretty nifty feature that um, you're able to uh, set a specific uh, temperature point, a reference point, and then uh, as soon as it uh, comes into frame, it's going to actually give you an alert. So it uh, saves a lot of time in that, in that aspect. Um, so right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch that on. Right now, if you can see here, the, uh, right now there is no, uh, none of those switches are turned on. So we're going to go ahead and click that, uh, that button right there. And that gives you the, uh, the spot meter. So anywhere on the screen that I hit is going to give me a temperature reading. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's reading uh, 63 degrees there. And uh, so pretty much anywhere on the screen, you'll be able to measure uh, temperature click that again that'll give you uh, the high and low temperature alerts and then from there all right so uh, once you turn on your high and low alert you go into your menu under settings temperature alert we're going to turn that on and uh, alert threshold right now is 122 degrees uh, we can leave that uh, we can leave that there oops set it to uh, Set it to um, set it to 99 degrees. All right. Well, from there, we should be able to. There we go. Now, as you mark, put the marquee on your screen. Whenever that specific temperature comes in, it's going to give you the alert down there, and uh, it'll put a red dot. Uh, give you a, a note. On the screen also a note down here max temperature is 125 degrees and then uh, gives you your average and so your max temperature reading is right over here that red dot with your low down there obviously you can do this on the whole screen but I've just done a marquee uh, uh, just sort of in the middle of the screen with that we're gonna go ahead and take off low point has been updated take off Now, as you can see on the screen, it's given me a um, high temperature alert uh, within that frame. As I swing around here, it's going to automatically adjust and tell me where that high temperature uh, is within my uh, within my frame. All right, now you see how it actually, um, as I swung by and uh, put the object that I'm looking at in focus, it gave me the temperature alert both in the uh, upper left-hand corner, also down in the bottom again, as you uh, get that, that item into, uh, into frame.
just going to cycle through uh, some of the color palettes here. Now the, the benefits of having a live view obviously is that you can uh, uh, you can actually cycle through the uh, the color palettes because some color palettes are going to show you um, you know what you're what you're looking for a little bit better. It's going to give you better contrast. Depends on the, the situation what you're inspecting. So that's that's the real benefit of having the the, the live HD stream. Uh, so you can adjust and um, adjust your your temperature levels uh, live while you're actually uh, inspecting. So again, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I can do that. Going back into the uh, temperature alert again, and just simply adjusting that. We'll set it to uh, 145. See how you can see this right here? If I had optical, I can kind of, that's kind of why, like, you, you can't really tell what that is. Like, that could be a reflection. Maybe it's a pool of water, and it could be uh, light, sunlight reflecting off of it. So the benefit of having the optical, which I wish I had, was to be able to say, okay, it looks like there's a signature over here. What is that? Now, we know it's not water, which means that that's kind of a, uh, it could be a moisture spot. You know, because there's nothing else that's going to give off that, that radiation. Plus, it is water. Maybe it's pooled water from the AC unit. Can you see that? That could either, yeah, so that could either be moisture trapped between the flat roof, you know, maybe maybe the AC unit is leaking condensate, and then it's getting into the to the layers of the roof. As, as the rest of the roof heats up, the moisture condensate is still, you know, in there, so that's why it's not the same uh, temperature as the rest of the, uh, as the rest of the uh, roof. Now, if I had an optical camera, I could kind of say, oh, okay, yeah, that definitely isn't water. It's not pulling, it's not reflecting. So that is a problem spot. You can tell. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of the benefit of having the, uh, the optical. Right? See that? And now you can really see it. There's like a, actually another one right there. Um, you can see, uh, you know, it's kind of pulling down towards, the, towards that side. There's actually a drain there. And that's common where near the drains, you know, if there's a, because that's sort of a, a hole in the roof where the, the water is supposed to drain through a, a funnel, you know, that could definitely be a problem spot right here along this, uh, along this wall. This one doesn't seem to have, and you can see the shadow there of uh, that unit. The temperature difference is the shadow of the actual, the actual unit. Right over there. See that? That's another drain. So when you have that, it's because it's, it's designed to drain the water off of the roof, but you probably have cooling there uh, when it does actually rain.